Drumsticks are designed for a life of hard knocks. They're usually made of hickory, which is heavier and sturdier than other woods. Hickory can also absorb a lot of shock, which means a drumstick made from it is easier on the hands and wrists, so the drummer doesn't have to suffer for his music. Hickory drumsticks also have good balance and feel, so it's easier to hit the right note. To make them, automated arms serve up hickory dowels to a three-bladed cutting device that moves on a rail. As the blades shape the spinning dowels, they form a round tip, a narrow shoulder, and a shaft that gradually widens. They spray each stick with a protective coating. These round blades lob off the stubs, the ends where the sticks were held during the initial machining. It's just a rough trim, and the ends need more work. So they feed them to spinning chucks with blades. The chucks are inside protective metal housing because they spin very fast, and the blades are extremely sharp. For a demonstration, the housing on one of the chucks has been removed and they turn it by hand. The chuck usually rotates at 10,000 RPM, but at this slow speed, you can see just how it shaves an end into the desired shape. The stick comes out of the chuck with a nicely rounded tip. Now, they test the sticks. Each one rolls down steel rails that have been specially aligned. If it rolls straight, it means the stick is straight. But if it wobbles, it isn't and would be impossible to play with. They reject those sticks. Next, a printer embosses the brand name and model number onto each of the drumsticks. Now they sort each drumstick by weight. Even if two sticks have been made exactly the same shape and size, their weight can vary because wood has different densities, and that's something that affects the stick's feel and tone. For example, this drumstick weighs 53 grams, but the next one comes in at 55. Over at another workstation, they're making a different kind of drumstick, a felt-tip mallet that will have a softer sound. They press a wooden shaft into the glue-filled hole of the felt ball. The hole is a bit smaller than the shaft, resulting in a tight bond between the stick and felt head. They do a sound check on the other sticks. Even though they've been sorted by weight, there are still subtle differences in tone. A computer analyzes their sound and matches pairs. It's a bit like a dating game. The unmated sticks go back into the mix and they try to match them up again. This matching process is critical. If one stick has a different pitch, the sound will be off balance. They assign a numerical value to each pair of drumsticks. cardboard sleeve holds each matched pair together. From a rough wooden dowel to a sleek drumstick, it's a process that's designed for impact.